Hello, um, so I said I was going to do a quick video um, about why we got Coco, um, our dog, um, you can just see her just behind me in her crate, um, for Zara. So Coco is a um, therapy slash companion dog um, and obviously, you know, our family pet as well. So um, I know therapy dogs um, are, you know, pretty popular now in hospital as well as like other um, animals. Animals have always been really popular. Um, with helping um, adults and children, you know, overcome things. Um, so for us, we, I'm allergic to cats, so a cat wasn't an option. And I wanted a, like an animal that we can have in the house with us, you know, all the time um, and just be out and, um, you know, just, just living with us properly in the house. Um, now Coco is a um, black pug. She's very different to any dog I've had before. Um, I've had German Shepherds before, so it's very different to have a black pug. Um, but what it was is I was looking at, um, you know, different dog breeds that are like a bit smaller, you know, a bit able, you know, bit, you know, because what I didn't want to do is get a dog that I wasn't able to walk properly, you know, give enough exercise to because of Zara's needs when she was really poorly, you know, I'm not able to leave the house. So I needed um, a smaller dog that, you know, like we've got a pretty big, um, cause we're all open plan. We've got a pretty big space for her and a garden, a pretty decent sized garden for her to, to go around. Um, she's only in a crate Please. at the moment because we've just walked back from um, um, sort of taking Sophia to school, but I'm gonna let her out in a second. And then, you know, she'll be out all day, bless her. Yeah. Um, so, I wanted a dog that was smaller that I was able to cope with. And I started researching therapy dogs, like smaller breed therapy dogs. And basically pugs kept coming up quite a lot. And I was a bit unsure because I wasn't really sure if I wanted a pug. Um, now I knew I wanted a black one when I did see them because I just think they were cuter than um, the fawn colored ones, just personal preference for me. Um, but when I was actually looking into them and looking on a different, like different, like, you know, forums and things like, and chat rooms and, you know, just, yeah. just seeing what other people had said, yeah. a lot of people said that, you know, pugs were really, really good. And you know what? I was quite yeah. skeptical when I got her, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. we've had a two, well, she'll be, she'll be two this month. So we've yeah. almost had her two years and she yeah. is really, really good. Like she's, her yeah. nature is really good. Let me just get her for a second. Come here, Coco. So, oh, as you can see, you know, she is just, oh, she's just, well, to me, she's just so cute. Um, but, you know, her nature, like, she is just, she's kind. She's, like, just so soft and gentle. Yes. And, but at the same time, she's not, like, lazy. Some people think pugs are lazy. She's not lazy at all. Oh, my God. She has so much energy. So, you know, when Zara... Or Sophia want to play with her. She's there. She plays football with Sophia all the time. Like, um, Zara has started throwing like balls and things for her. And you know, we you know we can take her for a walk. I mean, we can take her for like an hour walk, and she'll still have plenty of energy when she comes home. Um, so they're not a, a lazy dog like what people think at all. Um, but it's been really, she's been really, really, really good for Zara. Like I said, so. Sophia was at nursery and now she's at school, so it is just us yeah. in the day. So having um, Coco here has really helped Zara. I mean, Co Zara absolutely loves Coco and, and vice versa. Zara will be like, Coco, Coco. And like I said, she started throwing the ball for Coco. She started bringing toys to Coco. You know, she started saying to Coco to like go to the toilet and little words like Coco barks because the doorbell rings. She's like, shush. And, She's telling her to get off the sofa and things, but it is nice. And she started to go up to Coco and actually like stroke her and cuddle her. And it's actually been really nice. It's just somebody else that Zara's got in the house, um, you know, here with her. So she's, so, you know what I mean? She's not quite so lonely. And I mean, her, she, like I said, she's absolutely, she's getting heavy now. <laughs> um, I think she's it's about eight, eight kilograms, but she's, she, her nature is absolutely lovely. Like, she's not aggressive. You see Zara trying to get on her crate. Zara. Like, she's, yes, yes. Yes, you. Yes, yes. So, we do have to keep adjusting yes. her oxygen yes. wire because it yes. comes yes. full. Yes. Her face. Yes. You like it? Yes. 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 Yes.
Zara, she's in her other bed over there now with her toy and Zara can walk straight up to her, sit in the bed, take the toy off her, Coco wouldn't do anything, you know, she can take her food off her, her bone off of her, Coco would just look at her and just wait for her to finish and give it back to her and she wouldn't do anything else. So I'm really, really happy we've got her because she's been absolutely amazing for Zara and us as a family and... You know, I think for Zara, she's helped Zara come out of her shell a little bit. Especially when, like, Sophia has been at nursery or school and it is just them two and, and me. You know, I think she's helped Zara a lot, become a little bit more confident and just have somebody else here. And just knowing that she's here. I mean, when we go for walks, if Coco doesn't come, Zara will start crying until I go and get Coco. And then she's absolutely fine. Um, but it's it's really, really, really nice. So, you know... All I was going to say is, so if, you know, you're in the position, if you're thinking about getting a therapy, like companion, um, dog or, you know, animal, whatever, and you have the time and you're going to be, you know, you're going to be at home and you have the time to care for them as well as, you know, your children, then definitely, definitely do. The benefits are amazing. And um, if, like, you are thinking about getting a dog and you want a smaller dog a pug is it is a really 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 good choice my friend actually she's got a pug for her son who's got um autism and she says the same it has done wonders for him as well like they are actually a really popular choice now you do have to be really careful when you're picking a, a, a pug from a breeder because as everybody knows they've got short noses and they can have breathing difficulties they can have they don't have to coco is absolutely fine i mean she's not overweight for a start she's you know she's healthy she's like the perfect weight because obviously if they're overweight that is not going to help their breathing um but you really have to look to make sure they're not overbred um and people just aren't just breeding them basically for money um but if you get like a, a you know one that has you know good lines but isn't overbred because you know what some of the the top ones actually are sometimes the ones that are overbred so you've just got to be really careful that you get one that isn't overbred that's healthy you know do all the vet checks make sure you've got all the checks and everything and they can be a you know well she is an amazing amazing dog for zara i mean she's helped so much and yeah like i never ever ever would have imagined that i'd have a pug like honestly but you know we have and and she, she just does exactly what she's meant to do um so yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this video here because Zara's um, had enough. Um, she's trying to do a jigsaw puzzle and struggling. So I'm going to go and help her do that, bless her. And I'm going to talk about all of this and everything that we do um, in another video. Because as you can see, we always have to loosen it because it gets tight on the back of her neck and it's uncomfortable. Um, she's actually wrapped in it at the moment. I think that's why it's pulling. So I'm going to go and see what she's tangled on this time um and go and help her and sort her out bless her but yeah so i just wanted to just you know let you guys know about the therapy dog and um it's all right and um it's okay and um and yeah right thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye you say bye bye